I had a cool uh, intro plan for this video, but you know, life happens and your days don't always go as planned. It can be hard kind of not to let it ruin your days sometimes, but life's too short to be mad about running late or forgetting something at home. In this video, I took a two hour trip up to Hoosier National Forest with my oldest son. We had a great trip, cooked some good food, did some target shooting, and uh, got to spend a little quality time together. Be sure to hit that like button at the end of the video if you enjoy my content and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys watching. Enjoy the video. We're gonna pull in here and get parked and uh, get settled in for the night. little close to this uh, tree over here. But I think I'll make it. All right, we uh, hung around the fire for a few, but uh, it's starting to go down and it is freezing outside. So I think uh, most of the wood here is a little damp still. So I think instead of trying to keep this fire going, we're just gonna head into the van for the night and uh, start cooking some dinner. All right, we're going to uh, get our beef out and get it seasoned so we can make some cheeseburgers. Throw that in our trash bag. All right, we're gonna season it up a little bit here. Got uh, some smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and uh, some sea salt. Mix this up. Attempt to mix it up on the plate without spilling it on everywhere in my van i wish i had a bowl and i probably should just use the bag but we want the plate thank you all right i'm trying to get this in like equal parts here i just dropped another piece i'll get them in a second, in a second. but try to split this up into fours approximately Burgers are ready. Clean my hands off here. Got our burgers ready. Got my hands clean. Going to uh, finish getting our stove set up and uh, we'll get to cooking. Right. Does dinner smell good? Huh? Am I doing a good job? I didn't even cook it yet. Wait till you smell it cooking. warmer now yes let's see what our temps in here now it says well it was 42 in the van it is now 20 there you go now it's 27 outside and 48 in the van so it's not it don't it feels warmer than that side window cover up i kind of forgot about it since the door wasn't closed all the way tiny bit of olive oil in there i think we're gonna try to cook all four burgers at once to get it done Set us some plates out real quick. Go ahead and open those up and get them ready. All right, I think we're ready to flip our burgers for the first time here, carefully, so that we don't flat grease in the van. Another reason I brought my big cast iron chicken fryer today though, 
because it's nice and tall, I wouldn't have to worry about splashing as much. You want ketchup on them or on the side? On the oh. You want on the bun or on the burger? On the burger. On both of them? Yes, sir. Is that good? Yes. Alright guys, there's Avery's two quarter pound cheeseburgers. Coming your way, bud. Thank you. Broke on me a little bit, but it'll be all right. All right, here we go. Get some ketchup. Just gonna do a little on it, and then uh, put some on the side. I think. Forgot I got these pickles here. Let's see how they look. We are giant chunks, but it might be good for the side. I'm, I'm not gonna put them on it. But we'll put a couple on the side. All right, that's dinner. Let's uh. Let's dig in. I don't mean to toot my horn, guys, but it's a pretty good burger. What do you think? Good? Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're going to uh, get cleaned up and then uh, play some games. We got chess, which he beat me at for the first time at the other night. I think he cheated. I but cheat. <laughs> but uh, we're going to have a rematch tonight. We are using a Mr. Buddy heater to heat. Just be smart when you're using your Mr. Buddy heater or any kind of propane heater. Um, we got our front windows cracked open, uh, maybe about an inch or two. And then we have uh, our uh, carbon monoxide detector back here in that back corner. And I just put new batteries in, I think like last weekend, the weekend before, so I know they're good. Um, but it can't hurt to check. We still check it, test it, make sure everything's working um, before we go to bed for the night. Um, I do leave it on overnight. Um, I have several times and maybe I just got lucky, but I don't, I don't think so. We have ventilation, and like I said, we have, we have a carbon monoxide detector, and the Mr. Buddy heater itself is supposed to shut off when there's not enough oxygen in the room. So between that, the windows being open, and our carbon monoxide detector, I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, we're just going to uh, play some games, maybe watch a movie or something, eat some dessert, and uh, kind of relax for the evening. And uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> right now got down to about 14 last night but uh with that heater on I stayed about 16 in the van so we slept pretty good it does like having to go out or to wake up and switch out those green propane tanks on the mr buddy heater so i might look into getting like a five pound tank for these overnight trips but it wasn't bad i uh switched out over the night and my son didn't even wake up he was crashed so <laughs> he uh he's in there getting dressed for the day now i'm walking in and, well she's walking around behind me back here and uh plan for the day is to uh get some layers on which i already did but get dressed and uh just kind of hang out we're going to uh probably get our little ammo can fire out so we got something to stay warm out here with and we're going to uh there was a little target shooting today it's legal to target shoot in certain areas of Hoosh National Forest, at least according to their website. And uh, so we did, we were over here back in October and uh, we're gonna do the same thing today. So, come on, come on. There you go, good girl. All right, 
her burn off some of her energy she's got this morning. a little heat going attempt to anyway You want to grab our targets and our tape? Yeah. Okay, tape. Tape it up here. It's a little windy today. I think we'll be okay. Um, anytime you're shooting a weapon, you want to be aware of where you're shooting at and you want to know what's behind you or what's behind your target, should I say, um, so you know you're not going to hurt anybody or damage any property. Behind us right here, like I said, we're in a sinkhole, so we have this big embankment back here. All right, let's get up here and uh, warm up by the fire for a minute and then we'll do some shooting. Trying to warm our hands up a little bit between uh, between rounds. I, uh, I think it's only about 20 degrees out right now. Two, one, two, three, four, and five was off to the side a little bit. Not too bad. There's your last shot, roofing with the Glock 19. That's a, you, you got dead center on one of them. It's a good, not bad. In case you guys are wondering where Anna is, we left her in the van today. I didn't want to uh, the gunshots to be too loud for her. She's been around it before, but I didn't want to scare her or hurt her ear, so we left her in the van. She's in there napping with the heat on, so she's comfy. I'm gonna get this brass picked up so we're not leaving stuff all over the campsite here. All right, we got all of our brass picked up. Did you have a good time? Yeah. You have fun? We're going to uh, get a little campfire candle put out and uh, start getting the van drive ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and start the van and let it warm up a little bit while we're getting drive ready. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to boop that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.